YouTube friends, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the game script, uh, the updated version of the game mask script for Pixinsight. Uh, before we get to that, though, um, I got some good news. Uh, the Canadian edition of Sky News Magazine, uh, my image is in there. This is actually a full page uh, image. Uh, this is a collaboration image, a full page image with a bit of an article, um, is in Sky News. And uh, this image was taken by uh, Russ Jacob in Australia. It's NGC 3372. Uh, Russ uh, actually did a great job acquiring the data for this image. And um, I was able to, he uh, offered the data up to uh, process and I accepted and I processed the data into this image which uh, Sky News picked up and published in the latest edition of their magazine. So fantastic stuff. I don't have to throw this magazine away. This is a keeper. Um, not like the other magazines that don't have my images in them and I get, they just go like that. I think Chuck did that one time which uh, made me laugh. Uh, so anyways, this one here, not being tossed. This is a good one. Gotta love it. Okay, so uh, the game script. They have updated the game script and uh, we're at version 1.5.5 and it is, it's got some new features in it which are really cool and I think that you're gonna like it. Um, I think you're gonna make a lot of use out of it. It's improved, uh, it's been improving for quite a while. And uh, let me show you what uh, what you can do in the, in the updated version of the game script. So let's go over to the computer and have a quick look. Okay, so I have PixInsight open and we can look at the update for the game mask script. For those of you that don't have the game mask script, I will leave in the description a link to the website where you can download it. There's also instructions there as well that you can read and follow for installing the script. So I highly recommend you read the instructions. I know most people don't read the instructions, but this case here, you might want to read the instructions if you haven't installed the script in PixInsight before. It will be helpful, trust me. Once you have the game script installed, you're going to find it under Scripts, Utilities, and you'll see it as Game. And you click on it, and it'll load the current version as 1.5.5. That was just updated as of today, actually. Uh, well, yesterday or today. Um, I just updated today. It might have been uh, issued yesterday. I don't know. But that's the most recent version. That's the same version that you should have. Um, what you'll find is the traditional way that the game mask script uh, offered to make ellipses. So you could add an ellipse. Uh, let me just zoom in here so I can see the, the nodes. So you can make an ellipse mask very easily just by adding it and stretching the nodes to create the to create the mask, the uh, the ellipse that you wanted to. So that was the traditional way of doing it, uh, how it was. But now they've added in, if I delete that, now they've added in another way that you can create masks and you can actually custom, you can create a custom shape, uh, basically, because it's a multi-point mask. So uh, you select the multi-point tab and click add and then you can effectively start creating a mask by clicking. Now, let's say that I won't click just yet. Let's just say that we want to work on this dark dust region that exists within the Trifid Nebula here. And I didn't want to affect anything else in the image. I just want to focus on that. Say I want to sharpen it or dark structure, enhance it a bit or something like that. Um, I would want to create a mask and I can do that very easily now. It's very, the, the new uh, update is very intuitive, uh, very easy to use and create custom masks as you need to in any shape that you could possibly imagine. So basically what we're going to do is, I will just zoom in a bit more because that's the area that we want to work on. We're going to click once, we're going to click twice, we're going to click three times and that's going to close the mask off. So now what I'm going to have to do is add additional nodes in order to shape it. And that's really easy to do. So if I just click on the green line somewhere, it adds a node. And now if I click and hold, I can stretch that node around. I can move it around and I can start creating a custom shape. So I'm going to add some nodes and we're going to make a shape, a mask shape around 
this dark dust. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be somewhat somewhat of the shape that you're looking for, the desired shape that you're looking for. So very easy to do, just click and then click and hold and drag, click, click and hold and drag, and you can start shaping your mask how you want it to look. Very easy to do. I'm gonna bring this one out here and I'll add another node and bring it in. And then I'm gonna add two more nodes. I'm gonna have one here and one here. And that's pretty good. That's rough, but for example purposes, it, it serves its purpose. Um, so I've just created a custom mask, multi-point mask using the game script. It gives you different masks formats that you can output, luminance, gradient mask, gradient edge mask, binary mask, brightness mask, star mask. You can explore those different masks. Each one has its unique use. Um, in this particular case though, because I want to work on the area within the mask and I want it to blend nicely with the rest of the image, I'm going to go with the gradient edge mask. It's going to put a slight blur on the edge of the mask just so that it feathers things in with the rest of the image and I'll show you what I mean by that. I click OK and the game script will create the mask. We can see it here. So it's created the mask and if we zoom in you can see the edge is just slightly blurred on it. So it's going to feather really nice with the rest of the image. If I click on the tab, hold it and drag it over and drop it onto the image, I've now applied the mask to it and I can tell that the mask is enabled by the brown background on the tab. If I show the mask, we can see that it's there, it's working and everything in red is protected. The only part of the image that we're going to be able to work on is inside of the mask, which we created that custom mask for. Just for example purposes, um, let's, we'll hide the mask. It's still active. We just hit, hit it so that we, it doesn't interfere with our viewing of the, uh, of the area that we want to work on. So now if I wanted to, I could make a preview on the area that we want to work on. And we know the mask is functioning. We can see it's there. So this is the only area that is going to be affected by any changes that I make because I've made it a custom mask using the game script and if we say wanted to do some sharpening we could use the multi-scale linear transform tool to do some sharpening this is just rough nothing fancy here um, just for the purpose of demonstration uh, if I apply this sharpening to that area you can see that it sharpened just this area here, just the just the dark dust area, not anything else within the image. Everything else stays the same. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool. Being able to create a custom mask and get very very specific about it like that. Um, you can create multiple masks for the image too in in one shot. You don't have to. Uh, uh, you don't have to be restricted to just uh, creating one at a time. So if I wanted to, say, go back to the game script and we'll just run it here real quick. Uh, let's say I wanted to make an ellipse for uh, this. Whoops, it's right there. Uh, make an ellipse for this star here. I could, uh, I could easily do that. And just uh, by dragging the nodes here and making an ellipse around the star so now I can work on the star and if I wanted to I could make a multi-point mask as well so I could uh, create a mask uh, a specific mask around the uh, nebula uh, say and uh, be able to work on two parts of the image at the same time for whatever reason that might be but uh, certainly something to keep in mind that you can create uh, multiple multiple masks at the same time on the image. So there I've just created two and I'll use gradient edge mask again click OK and the game script will create the uh, mask for us and we can see here we've got uh, two gradient edge masks uh, created and then we can apply that to the image we can see that it's functioning and we can do whatever we wish to do um, we could color saturate 
let's just say as example we'll just grab the color saturation and we'll just give it a bit of a boost so you can see the difference here that's happening this is all just for example purposes I wouldn't uh, go this far with the color saturation but I'm boosting the color saturation of the star and of the nebula and uh, nothing else is being affected so very 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 handy script to have in your arsenal of Pix and Sight tools. Uh, again, the game script, uh, game mask script, which is found under script, utilities, and game. Um, try it out if you haven't. If you don't know about it, again, I'll leave the link to it, uh, to the website and the instructions where you can download it uh, in the description. You can check it out. Uh, for those of you that are using the game script and haven't updated yet, by all means update and uh, have fun making use of the multi-point uh, mask, uh, custom mask technique that you can now use inside of the game script. It's uh, really fantastic stuff. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. Thanks very much for tuning in again. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, hope everyone is getting clear skies and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.